Hanging out with one of the newest Cyclones infielders, Brandon Fryman, who just got drafted this year out of Samford University down in Alabama. Brandon, you are here in Brooklyn after being born and raised in Florida, playing college ball in Alabama, and making a quick little stop over in the GCL before coming to Coney Island. What has the transition over the last couple of weeks, couple of months been like? It's been pretty crazy. Uh, sort of coming from a small town in, in Florida, uh, near Alabama, and then going to school in Alabama. Uh, coming to a big city like this is, is very different than what I'm used to, but uh, it's been a lot of fun. There's a lot of things to do, and uh, it's been a good time. 21st round draft pick of the Mets this year, coming out of Samford. What was draft day like and hearing your name called? It was stressful. Uh, I didn't have an agent. My dad was my agent, so I was the one talking to all the teams and trying to communicate. And uh, once I got drafted, it was a huge sigh of relief just to be able to focus and know where I'm going. You made an instant impact with Brooklyn, and your batting average when you got here, it felt like it was over 400 forever. How were you able to splash on the scene here on Coney Island and make an impact instantly? Well, I got to spend a few weeks down in the GCL rehabbing, and uh, I was able to really just collect myself and focus on what I needed to focus on and improve. And then once I got up here, that transition uh, became a little bit easier. What is life in Brooklyn like now that you've had a couple of weeks to experience all of it? It's been awesome. Uh, I love the home field. I love the sound. Um, great guys on the team. Uh, really just good competition. It's, it's pretty much everything I could ask for. Now you mentioned your dad was your agent got navigating through the whole draft process. Well, your dad is a different from a lot of other dads in that he's Travis Fryman, who played 13 seasons in the big leagues for Detroit and for Cleveland. What is it like, and I know you get this question all the time, but what is it like being the son of a, a big leaguer? Uh, it's pretty sweet, especially when I was younger because I was able to be around a lot of famous baseball players. And uh, he's just been able to teach me a lot of things that uh, a lot of people don't ever get to hear. And uh, I've been hearing those things from a very young age. So it's really just helped me grow as a player and as a person and just seeing what it takes to be a professional. Now, not only did your dad play for the Cleveland Indians, but after his playing days were done, he was a manager in their minor league system and actually managed the Mahoning Valley Scrappers, who you got to play against and you absolutely massacred. You had a four-hit game against them, a multi-hit game the next day. What was it like getting to play against your dad's old team and see some of the coaches who were a part of his coaching staff and still with the Scrappers today? It was definitely a little weird because I spent a lot of team around or a lot of time around that organization, that team. Uh, yeah, the head coach there was uh, the hitting coach one year when my dad was there, so. It was sort of weird seeing some old faces and having people talk to me and ask me how my dad's doing and things like that. So it was cool, but uh, it's definitely a little different. Now, you mentioned to me uh, that when you were growing up, you got to pal around with your dad a whole bunch and get to go see a whole bunch of big league games, grow up in a big league clubhouse. But you realized pretty early on as a kid that you did not like fireworks. Take me through the moment you realized that. Yeah, Jim Tomey hit a walk-off homer one game, and that was probably my earliest memory I've ever had. But I just remember uh, sitting up in where all the moms stay, up in the uh, press box area, and uh, I remember the fireworks shooting off and just not enjoying that at all. So that was when I realized fireworks were not for me. Uh, I've grown out of it a little bit, but they're still not my favorite thing. So. I'm glad you've grown out of it a little bit because we are here on Coney Island and we've got fireworks, it feels like, all the time at MCU Park. Brandon Fryman, he's not in the shadow of his dad anymore. He's doing his own thing as a pro baseball player. Joining us here at MCU Park. Brandon, thanks for your time. Thank you.